Last time on Zero Escape, Zero Time Dementia. How can you be so calm about it? Calm? Oh no, I'm actually surprised right now. What? I had no idea his last words would be the same as my first. Your first? No, not that way. It's something else. First of all, it's not as if I was actually dating him or anything. I guess you weren't really in love then. I suppose he thought we were, though. I just let him go since it would have been a hassle. A hassle? What about how Eric feels? His feelings, huh? I haven't really been able to understand emotions my whole life. Oh, Fear, shit. Sadness, pain, Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, things like love. Uh-oh. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. Uh-oh. I don't even really understand what he said before he died. Uh-oh. Why are you even... Okay, it's one thing to be a psychopath, it's another thing to be that. What are you doing? I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Why? Ever since I was little, I've always been told I'm callous and unfeeling. Why did the faces on people change? I never understood what expressions were. I'd take a mirror and practice making them every day, but they've never quite looked right. Because it's a micro expression, you can't fake it. Something. Deep inside a person's chest is an object called a heart. This heart controls their emotions and changes their expressions. That is not literal! I remember thinking, that's unfair. Why I... was everyone hiding this important thing inside so no one else could see? It, it's figurative! What it looked like. What? Google images! What? I decided my first would be a woman, about the same age as my mother. I waited on an isolated street so there would be no bystanders. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we just got raided while we were away. <laughs> we just got raided by Slayer. Hey, man. We just got raided while I was out for two minutes. What were the odds? All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. All right, so who are we going to do this time? Saying do in this series is a very scary thing. I see a blue button, but that's a very bad thing. Uh, uh, uh. This one. Let's do it. Yes. Transporter. Okay. Here we go. Um, where's Fi? Please tell me she's not. I don't see her. She could have woken first and wandered off. Do you have the pendant? Sigma? Sigma! Huh? It's after midnight now. What? Tell me the year turned over. It's no longer the year 2028, but... Does she have the thingy? 2029. How long have we been asleep then? My last memory was... Ten and a half hours ago. Talking about the vote at 1330? Yes. But that doesn't mean we've only been sleeping, though. We could have woken up several times. You're saying the amnesia drug made us forget. Well, better start looking for Fi. Yes, you're right. You hope I have a drink? Yeah, I have a drink. Of all the timelines in all the games, you had to get this one. Oh god! Now I'm worried. Machines. Piano? What on earth is this? This is the last of the rooms. That Fi. Where'd she go? Zero. I can only assume you are searching for something. If you'd like to learn the whereabouts, do as I say. Damn it. 
So what are your orders? First, I shall explain the room to you. As the name suggests, this room contains a device called a transporter. It was discovered roughly 140 years ago, in the year 1888, at the South Pole. A German expedition was exploring the area. At one point, they became lost, and subsequently stumbled upon it. The device was carefully transported to their homeland, and researched in secret. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. Perhaps it came from a distant planet, or some alternate world. Regardless, they determined the intelligence that created it far surpassed that of humans. Despite not understanding how it worked, they figured out what it was used for. This device is capable of transporting things through space-time. Hence why it was named Transporter. But its construction is much different from what you'd normally expect. If you look toward the back left corner, you'll see something resembling a tree root. This is the nucleus of the Transporter and controls its function. So it destroys it and recreates it. The obtained data travels through space time directly to the transfer point's nucleus. That nucleus will then analyze it. It will send the necessary elements from the material tank to the export pod and recreate Object X's original form precisely. Essentially, it acts as an atomic level 3D a massive amount of energy is required to do a transfer. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly 10 months to recharge. The device cannot be used during that time. A variety of objects can be placed in the same pod, however. In order to transfer a human, each pod must only hold one body within it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. It is very difficult to recreate individual brains and proteins. I obtained this machine back in 2009. It had been stored in a U.S. research facility. American troops had confiscated it after the German loss during World War II. My explanation ends here. There is a special characteristic about this device, however. This transporter is not simply a device that allows you to teleport. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. Furthermore, that data travels through space-time. It does not just go to the past or present, but also to other histories. Now, my instructions. Currently, no power runs through the transporter nucleus. It is completely 
abruptly stopped. If you are able to restart it, you may obtain that which you desire. Now, I know you'll do your best. Good luck to you. So we can essentially transport ourselves, a copy of ourselves, to any point in space or time, as long as there's one of those receiving pods. So aliens make a space-time 3D printer, Nazis took it and then the US confiscated it, and then Zero got it. Wow! So we can essentially travel back in time. Or send a copy of ourselves back in time. Which means more than one version of ourselves can exist in our timelines. As well as adding ourselves to impact the past. Which would create new time... What's this, a card? So this is the same thing I saw in the previous. Nazis really do have the best technology. What the fudge am I supposed to do with these? Calling it a transport is kind of pointless, those things. It doesn't even transport anything. This is gonna take some time. You're gonna go make some coffee. Wow! Sigma? I don't know, it looks fragile. I think someone goes into vertical and horizontal axis. Oh, you're right. That means probably can't use it now. Locker won't open. So I just to change your clothes. It's not showing anything. I don't think the machine is on. Place cards here. Let's try with this card. Color change? I thought it was already like this. No, it was something darker, I think. Regardless, I don't know everything. Let's find more cards. One more. We need to turn them all on. That's my guess. I noticed something too. Placing the card here changes it to a different color. But right now, we can tell which ones we've done. True, but it's all the information we have right now. Let's keep going. The light turned on. It goes green on the back. Just the tip, this is not Korean. What is this, a freaking summoning circle? And a seventh. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Just how many cards are there? Calm down, there's only one more. What's that? A book, let's check it out. This is hologram, stereoscopy. Wow, incredible, there's a picture in the air. Is it okay to touch? It should be fine, but why? It's only a picture after all. You can't feel it. It's poking your hand through the hologram. Fun, <laughs> come on, try it. 
What the fudge? Huh? Alright, so snail equals zero. What's this? What? Something's happening over at the nucleus. I wonder, let's go see. How the fudge am I supposed to work out this ancient Egyptian Aztec crap? Isn't this bracket just about the size of those cards we found? Let's try putting them there. What does this mean? The symbol we used disappeared. Maybe it means the symbol on the other side was stronger. What the fudge? you might need your whiteboard for this. Indeed we might. But it's more than two people. Stand, I recommend Star Platinum. That was an odd leap to achieve. Question, is it racist to believe that Alice had something to do with the alien? I have no idea. Need all five pieces of Exodia. I'll need something, that's for sure. Um, that's zero. 
What about this? Yeah. It's greater than that, too. How about a pentagram? Still stronger than that one. How about a human with two moons? Yes! All right, stronger than the bird. Stronger than flower. What about human with one moon? Yep. Flower? Not stronger than human and two. Okay, so that's the flower's weakness. Bird. Do I want a hint? Ah, uh, trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know. Ken Yugo is knowing when to activate your Yatsi. I mean, he, he is technically solving the puzzle. I'm technically figuring out the value of every card by putting it on a scale. If snail is zero, then this shit is a number. And if that shit is a number... So I'm actually figuring it out because that's a message. The question is, where do we input it? Oh, is it giving me new shit? Okay, the alien civilization that created this transport utilizes 13 symbols. Each one representing a number from 0 to 12. Thank you. Their relationships are as follows. Oh, okay. So multi equals something times something. Gotcha. Question. There's the puzzle. Well, I still have to solve it though. But the multi ones are going to be tricky. 
This is the hard way. Kuma, do you want a hint? I mean, by all means, give me a hint. I now know their relationship, and it's a matter of figuring out which one is higher than which. And that will at least narrow down the bases. And once I narrow down the bases, that's what I would assume. And once I get that done, I mean, I'll probably fuck it up, though, being me. It's obviously bigger than human. Two moons. It's bigger than two moons, so it's bigger than one moon. Bird must be pretty high. Snail is zero, half moon is like nothing. Flower of a moon. Is snail over anything? Yeah, snail zero. Now zero, what's this one? Circle equals circle, okay. So far circle's fucking losing on everything. Let's put flower in there. Just loses to bird. Uh, okay, human times moon. It's higher than human moon. Yeah, I, I did that one already. Human double moon. What about pentagram by itself? Flowers over pentagram. Bird breaks on what? Nipple is on bird. Bird's pretty high. I think the bird is 12 and the flower is 8 if I'm remembering. Maybe. Bird lost to this one. Bird lost to this one. So this is probably 12. Oh no, the highest base. This one's times. You're right. Bird may actually be 12. And flower may actually be 8. Because we're actually timesing. Moon has to be 2 to 4 because it's multiplied by itself 3 times. How does it stand up to the other ones? So triple moon beats flower. But dies to bird. It dies to bird, so it can't be four. Four, eight, wouldn't be four. Um, 
3 times 3 would be 9. 9 times by another 3, too high. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 12. It could be a 2. No, it's less than 12. Twelve is two two three. Eight is two two two. Moon by itself. That would make sense. Twelve is two two three. And double moon would be four. Yeah, loses to bird. Moon beat circle. Maybe one. I don't think we've actually seen it beat anything. You're absolutely right. And do we have any combo with it? We don't. We don't actually see it beat anything. Yeah, we don't see it beat anything. So it may actually be a one. How about this one? Moon and things. So we know moon is two. And we can work out what pentagram is. It fucking obviously beats it. Okay, so flower is higher than the pentagram, but it's smaller than the pentagram times two. And pentagram times two dies to bird. So, pent times two is less than 12. So, something times two less than 12 so it can't be six so it's got to be six or less pentagram is going to be less than six so circle can beat circle snail is zero so circle can be one Circle can be one. So we know that's two. Let's find out what human is. Human loses to flower. Two humans. Use equation from the pictures. I hate math. Yeah, they they they, they died about it. All right, let's see the equation. Fucking math.
Human loses to flower? Ah, oh, Undertale. Yeah, but I still need to figure out a little more before I can work this out. Like, it, I, I still need to work out a few more. Like, this equation, it shows me how it works. It's like, oh, okay. This plus this equals this. It's like, fair enough. But I still need to figure out the order. Which one's more powerful. Currently, I have bird malt uh, at 12. I have flower at possibly 8. I have um, the nipple at possibly 1. I have snail at 0. I have the pentagram at under 6. I have the moon at 2. So if we go snail 0. This is 1. Moon is possibly 2. Flower is... 8 Bird is 12 We don't know what the pentagram is That's the thing Human times 2 Fits on something Like you see what I mean Oh two, 2 is 4 See bird loses to this one Bird loses to this one so bird may not be 12. Bird may actually be 11. Bird may actually be 11. And then the human with the 2-2. Two, two. Might actually be 12. And then the human with the 2 loses to bird. Human is three. Two humans is six. No, human. Oh, no, but human times two would be six. Three times three would be nine. Two times two times two would be. Two times two, four. Four times two is eight. So flower can't be eight. This would have to be eight. Let's try this one. Two, human. It's three. Equals four flower equals five human equals six pentagram equals seven equals eight human equals nine ten. Bird. 11. Human. Let's give it a crack. Pentagram is 5 and flower is 7. Might be correct on that one. Yeah. Flower 7. Come on, work for me. Shh. Quick math. <gasps> the bird of wisdom has spoken! In order to operate the nucleus, four cards must be placed on the sensor. The Alien Society has two methods for expressing numbers, however. By converting the number symbols displayed by the nucleus to a second format, you will determine the correct cards to place. We should check it out. What the fuck is this? Something's on the monitor. I think it's just playing the object it's going to make. It's a 3D printer after all. 
What does minions go to make now? I think so. Let's try it. We just made... What was this play on the monitor? Oh my god. This is going to be chaos. Praise be to the water, uh, board of wisdom. Same thing as before. It looks a little different to me. Okay, let's try and make it. Wow. Okay. So what do they want? They want bird, 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 flower, human. So that would be... 11, 11, 11. Seven. Two. Eleven. 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 Seven. Three. Time for base 13 mathematics, everyone. Yay. So we add them all up and see the thingies. Ah, oh, so we got to add them all up, right. So that's how it works. Base 13 numbers are not Korean. Really? Maybe I should call my Korean friend and ask him about base 13 mathematics. So up to here is 33. Over here is 40. Over here is 43. 43 equals... 7. A prime. So they want a 7 card? Not even almost. Oh. Let's try to put some of the rules we found in the machine. That was easy enough. What now? We have both rules. Let's see if we can make something. Maybe we'll figure something out. basically doing a calculator number is being converted converting decimal 0 to 9 but the trigon is 13 yeah the vertical reels show 0 to 12 can we reset it can we reset it please no one knows drag the reel can I fix this can I, can I reset this? No. Reset it, please. Thank you. I times by zero. Ah, uh, bud, bud, bud. Oh, they don't have the bud here. Shit. Um. Just input the symbols you see on there. I can't. Oh, wait. I gotta get... Oh, so I need to get these ones. Do I need to get these ones? No, that's five. I can't input those five because we don't have the bird. The bird's 11. These are 11s. So I can't actually input 11. So what am I supposed to do? Help me, Sigma!
This Trandalyn, you know, you can convert the symbols in the five Decagon reels into symbols on the four Tridacon reels. What is their purpose? No one in this world knows. Scrolling the horizontal reels up and down changes the symbol display, then pull the lever on the right to begin the translation. Controls drag, control symbols on the left. Duh, 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 duh. Oh. Bird is not the word on the bottom rails. Yeah, it's not there. See? Just input the symbols you see on there. Input what symbols I see on there. I, I don't get what you guys are saying. I honestly don't get what you guys mean by that. I have no idea what you mean by that. We know what each number means now. We solved the question and know it's showing 11, 11, 7, 3. And how much is that? 27951. 27951. 27951. Let's see. Maybe that's what you guys meant. Uh, two, so. Seven. Nine. Five. One. We get human. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve nine five one. Twelve nine five one. What, why am I getting things in the background? Twelve nine. So that's twelve nine five one. Then we input uh, the vertical one displayed human moon circle human star double circle. What? Can we convert a five-digit 10 decimal number to a four-digit 13 decimal number? Hold on, what was the number those symbols above the nucleus translated to? Let's check it again. Number equals 27951, correct. And we converted that number within the translator. The symbols this translates into were, um... Wait, I must have, I, I must be missing a step in logic somewhere. We converted 27951 into symbols and translated it. We should check the four symbols they were translated into again. Which is these ones. Time to try this again. What do you mean time to try this? Let me see the log. Did I miss something? We put it. The vertical one displayed human. Moon, moon, human, human, star, circle. Touch the thing below the symbols. Remember how the alien symbol could be put together and multiplied to get a value? Would that work? Uh, that's the number they got. So that would be 11 times 11 times 11 um, times. Seven times three. Oh, new info. The alien civilization lines up numbers as a means of multiplication, therefore the nuclear symbols must be the multiplied together to any an answer. But what about the numbers in the column? Humanity's use of 10 as a decimal base is simply because we have 10 fingers. The intelligent beings in the alternate world have 13 fingers and multiple arms. 
but then what exactly are the numbers for the other method based on? Touch below the floating symbols. And the other way of counting. What is it saying? It could, we need to figure out the alternate dimensions method of counting. This could be a clue to activating the nucleus. Under the thing you say? Oh! So the number was... But the number was, um... Uh, 27951. I just found the input path. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Uh, shite. So he times it. And then we got... Human DD. Human human. Pentagram. And a nipple. Get it! Success! I think I did it. it. Looks like as if you were successful. Now something will happen. Did someone clone Gab? Oh! Only took 50 minutes. It worked! Yes, but... Now announcing the current casualty. No! No! These six are now deceased. What? It can't be. The X door has been opened and subsequently closed. The successful escapee is Akane Kurashiki. Bitch! Did her boobs just have their own physics this engine? This is a lie. It, it's gotta be. I refuse to believe this is true. You can just send yourself back. Sigma! Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, bye! Where the hell are you? Are you trapped somewhere? If you can't speak, just, just make a noise! Please, fine! Please! Answer me, damn it! Well, I think it's kind of confirmed that he likes Fi at this point, you think? You think? No! It's gonna be in there, isn't it? It's on the floor, isn't it? Oh god, no! No! Uh. I just gotta chill, man. Diana! Hey! What's wrong? Are you alright? You okay? <laughs> yes. Thank you. And Fi? This door will never open again, then. Yeah. Why did Akane leave alone? Because she's a bitch? No idea. There's... 
There's no way to tell what happened over in Ward C. We only know one thing. Carlos and Junpei are dead. That's it. So it's the one where that Oh. Do you believe the announcement? It could be the one where Carlos necks himself and Junpei's frozen. Or it could if be the what gas. What said earlier is true. Mask. Then that means Q Team is dead as well. But unlike C Team, we can figure out exactly how Q Team died. They were executed. Likely because of the vote at 1330. That was on me. Diana. I believe you picked Q Team then, right? No. Yes. But I. I know. You just did as the note suggested. The real betrayer is. Carlos. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Not good. It's almost time for us to get injected again. We don't have time to waste. Get into the thing. Come with me. Travel back in time. To... I, 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 I don't know. Somewhere. No, but you'll end up back there because that's... Oh, shit. So there's going to be multiple Sigmas in the same thingy. You genius! Sigma? What are you doing? Saving the future by saving the, the past. The will never open again. Not in this time, now, man. All we can do here is just wait to die. Wait, you don't mean you're planning to transport yourself. What other choice do we have? We have one to wait for Akane. Fuck that shit. I'm sure the police or a rescue team will. We can't count on that. But why? This is the tree form timeline. Listen to me, Sigma. This is not the time for pointless arguing. We. Are escaping this horrible history. We're going to where Phi exists. Sigma? I've selected the transfer point. All we have to do is pull this lever. Then we need to run to the input pods. Wait! I'm going to go even if you aren't. What? I'm starting it. You ready? You're still gonna exist in this time. What, you gonna choose not to go? But don't you get it? It doesn't destroy the original matter in this timeline. You will still be in the input pod. You'll just be creating a transfer in the past. So what, you don't want to change the past in an alternate timeline? It won't affect your present timeline. You won't even feel the difference. Unless someone from that timeline comes into your one. Which is... Uh, fuck it, transport. And don't tell me it's out of power. I'll give you that crap. Okay. Let's go. Sigma is everything that Eric isn't. You mean a man? The honor? And loyalty and not killing Let's children. Hurry. Imagine how much I could get done with one of these. As if the timeline wasn't messy enough as it was. Of all the timelines, we got this one. Hell yeah. It's pure dumb luck. What? What? Wow, it changed. Did we change everything? What on earth?
door of truth. Hell yeah! I know, it's free! It's Pepe! It's clearly the frogs made this machine. I am prepared. No, I'm Sigma. No, you're Sigma. Well, no, wait, what? Oh, wait, that's her. I was like, who wears red for a minute? Did it really work? Well, we got into the input pods. But what the bracelet came out of? The export pods. Hell yeah. Diana, look at your watch. 1805. Well, we climbed into the pods around 1.30 in the morning on New Year's. So, we went back in time? But, huh. It could be possible that it's 1805 on January 1st, though. Wouldn't your watch- Isn't your watch independent? It also means it could be two or three days off. Or even three or four years. There's no way to know the exact date or time. Even what we see on this watch could be fake. We have no idea. Imagine Zero just drugs you and knocks you um, out and mind fucks Sigma, you by making you think you traveled you in time. <laughs> you were the one who prepared everything on the input console, right? You can do it again, yes. can't you? Where exactly did you set it to? What do you mean, where? The transfer point for the transporter. Uh, I don't know. What? How far back did it's we go? It's not my fault. We didn't have time. I, I, I couldn't read any of the text on the display, so... I pushed a random button. A random? It, it doesn't matter. It's still highly likely we came out in an alternate history. And if that's true... I could be here. It could also be before the killing game. Because he got this back in 2009, right? Game is based in what year? Bye. You could be here for a while, buddy. Bye. Bye. It doesn't look like she's here. <sighs> this is... Wait, what? What's that? Wait, you were executed in this timeline? Wait! Wait, so you might be able to get your own input code to unlock the thingy. No, wait, that means Fi's also dead! Fi! Fi! Tell me you're safe. Where are you? Answer me! Um, Sigma? I'm not really sure, but maybe the history we're in. Oh, that's gonna suck. What was that? Oh, no, not another escape room. Oh, come on. It won't open. Anyway, let's find a way out of here. Oh, we'll God. Later. Oh, God, no. Another one. No. What the fudge? Sigma fucks up trying to find a timeline fires in and he picks the one she's dead in. So why couldn't he just use the machine again? The machine wasn't used in this timeline. Activate the bloody thing and go again. But you stuck in the room, Kuma. You have to get in the room first. But isn't that why you don't both jump in a room so the person on the outside can help you? Kuma, you're assuming Sigma is semi-competent. Don't be idiot. Fudge! Alright, what's this? It's a hairdryer, but we can use it for something. You can plug it in. Oh, it plugs into two. It won't fit in here. Okay. Spin this. Oh, right. What spin is written next to the exhaust? Does this mean we should spin it? 
I don't see a power switch, but we can't reach the blades out with our fingers. I guess we'll have to find a different way. But we can't put it into this thing, because the hairdryer only plugs into a two-hole outlet. It won't fit here. Shite. Uh, there's a light. It's too dark. We should turn the light on if we want to search. The light is on. Okay. Nine buttons on the sock. Let's see if we can unlock it. It's not opening. We should search for more clues. Damn it! I hate these things. Anyone remember what this escape room is called? I don't even know. This is like one of those end game escape rooms where they troll you. It's connected. Let's plug it back in. Right. I think the power's on. Let's check it out. Alright, we'll turn something on. Is the light on? Can we turn this one on? No. We turned something on. We'll have to open it. And all we have is a bloody hairdryer. If only there was a cat in here. Now that would perfectly calm my- Damn it, Sigma! Huh, Sigma, did you just- I uh, if you can't tell, I kind of have a little tick. Whenever I talk about cats, I... Oh, alright, I guess it's okay. Anyway, there's something here in the lock. I wonder what it is. Ah, converter. Thank God for that. Cool. The power supply must be restarted to unlock the door. Oh, thank you. What's this? Looks like a music box with a large disc. Why is there a music box inside a locker? Runs on water. Where do we put the water? There's a hole for a pipe at the bottom. That's probably it. What a strange music box. I wonder what it plays. Probably plays Claire de Lune. If it's in, what do we do? Let's give ourselves a blow. Maybe spin the fan up there. Ah, yes. The word spin is on the wall next to it. Let's try it out. Hydro next exhaust fan. It spins over there. It can be used to spin the blades. Violet, white, blue, red. Remember when Kuma had a nugget to lock? <laughs> I remember my nugget to lock in the first two games. It went to absolute shit in this one, though. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, a coin! A remote control. Quite complicated, but they found a sci-fi transport and transported to another timeline, which is where they are now. They didn't see anyone. That seemed kind of random. Fi, Fi, where are you? Sigma, cat puns. Imagine the music blocks plays Bluebird Lamentation. Oh no! Don't do that to me, please. I, I don't need that in my life. Can we use the coin to do the thing? Beautiful. Second stun. So this device can't turn both at the same time. I'll turn you at the same time. I mean, what now? Uh huh. All right, we open this. So keeping us from reaching in the room. It's better we don't step in. The water looks questionable. You're right. Is there anything we didn't do to drain it? Wow, you're worried about water at a time like this? I thought you liked fire. What the fudge? You want to drain the water now? What a pussy. I thought you were here to say fire, not be a bitch about it. I'm gonna do something about the strange, dirty water first. 
What's this hole? It's the shape of a C. I think we'll put something in there. I just don't know what by looking at it. Then this button resets the device. No, we got it though. We'll unlock after we started the power supply. Yeah, but this isn't responding when we push it. So he doesn't want to walk in the water. What a shitty excuse of a man. Um, use this maybe. Just grab it and walk. Fine. Fudge you. Okay, now you're just being annoying, Sigma. Now you're just being annoying. Isn't that a drain there? Looks like it, but there's a lid on it. If we can remove the lid, we can get rid of the dirty water. Push the button. Yes. What's the worst that could happen? So what? I have to look at the drain to push the button on a remote? That's silly. The old water drained out. Now we can walk safely. Hmm. That button goes there, but let's first explore these. Normal shower room. There's a bucket here for cleaning. I think we can find another use for it besides wearing it. Fill it up. Turn it on, but nothing came out. Story of my life. Uh, this one? What's this? A water tank? Why is it here? It's clearly out of place. I suppose that's a good reason to examine it. There's something in there we need. A water tank. Why is it in the shower room? There are water plants in here. Is Zero planning on getting some fish? Of all the places, he puts it in here. We need whatever this is. Could be decoration, but I'm intrigued. We can't take the cover of it off, so we can't reach it. Uh, so we have to flood it, I guess. The door doesn't open. Only this one is different than the others. I wonder if there's a reason for it. it sort of looks like a private room for VIP, maybe? I don't know. It's a pretty normal shower stall. Ah, there's something on the wall. Fully submerge the power supply in water to restart. So I gotta flood the room? You're gonna get us killed! Oh, it doesn't do it there? Okay. Uh, I'm sure one of these will work. Put some water, Sigma. Please take care of your head. Out of curiosity, whether it will be any good. The first big writing gig since 999 series. How long do we have to wait for the English translation? I don't know what you guys are talking about, but... I hope they're making another game. I hope they make. I, it just. It would be wise if they did the English translations for their releases in under a year. Because it took them a year to do V3, which is kind of. What the fudge? There's small inside attack. Could be a decoration. Can we put the water inside, or do we gotta play the music? I'm cool to play the music, but like. Machine's nearly waterproof. We'll have to really submerge it. Damn it, you emptied my water bucket. No, put the bucket. Water's coming. Ah, yeah. oh, he's got more water. Okay, cool. I don't want you to submerge it in water. I want you to flip the switch. Thank you. You're still crazy. And now you get the water. And now you put the water in the thingy. No, that thingy. Runs on water. There's a hole at the bottom. The water will likely flow in from there. Oh, Christ. So I gotta fill it up. What the fuck? Five, four, oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, one minute. Give me one minute, guys. I'll be back in one minute. I drank way too much liquid. Sorry about that, guys. It wasn't my usually scheduled break, but I normally take a little break in between escape rooms. All right, let's do that. Uh, Board of Wisdom. One, four, five, two, nine, seven, eight, three, 
six. Okay. That was genius, by the way. Pure luck. Whoops. Yay! Yeah, that coffee really killed me. Had some trailers, but I avoid them. What's this? It's playing on the monitor. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Dragon done. Bingo, bingo. Bingo. Oh, the clouds. I didn't even notice the clouds. I didn't even notice the clouds. I didn't even notice the clouds. And there were a hint and a half. Uh, the drawer opened. Something's inside. Well, that's gonna hurt. I don't think any of these would open. What's in here? Oh. I'm not an expert in plumbing, but that seems rather strange. Dude. Why do you act like that? And something's at the bottom of the drain. Still can't reach it. And what if we use a bucket of water? If we put water here, maybe the one in the other one will increase. Let's test it out. Ooh! Key! That sounds good. Alright, so we got the key. Thank God for having a whiteboard! Best investment ever. Um, oh, my bucket's gone. Sure. Opened. We got our hose. Do we attach the hose here, or do we flood the shit out of this? Could be a decoration. Can we use the coin we got? I think the screwdriver is too small. If only we had a screwdriver. We do have a screwdriver. Oh! Push the button. What? Started working. This is the bottom top right. Something came out of the tube. Let's see what it is. It got stuck out by the pump and came out here. C shaped. Oh, this is gonna work. Please don't flood us to death. I'm just trying to get out of the escape room. I'm not trying to die. 
I knew it fits perfectly. Oh, the light turned off. I wonder what why it stopped working. Maybe the connection between the switches is broken. That's highly possible. All right, let's try changing the switches then. No, don't do that. It's linked to the other switch. If we do that, both sides will be dark. But nothing happens when you push it. Then I said, do door opens after we submerge the device to press reset. Submerge. How are we going to do that? Well, the real question is how are we going to flood this area now? Close this, maybe? Hold the remote. It's just set this up. Most likely it's strange otherwise. I doubt it was originally in the shelter. That means there must be a meaning behind it. Should we push the button? Yes. Now it's closed. So the remote controls it. We start flooding. This could take a while. Water is coming out of either knob. Let's search the room or I'll come to. The door is shut. It's sealed room in here. You're right. There are no gaps between the frame and the door. It's certainly closed up. Let's get out, yeah? Um, yes. Yes, we should. Why are you both in there? Do you idiots not learn to s Oh my god. Alright, now we're just gonna flood the shit out of this place. Real question is, how do we do it? Maybe the hose is used for that machine. We need to have some running one in the music box we'll play. We'll just connect the hose first and place it on the other end of the shower. The hose might reach you on the far right. And we need to connect it to that one. Connect it to this maybe. I don't know. Can we connect it? It doesn't seem to be the right size. The hose won't fit there. The shower head is a little crooked. Are the screws loose? Well, we can do that. Fine, whatever works. Took out the screw on it. There we go. Is that some writing? No, that seems to be fine. Attach it, then we can connect it to the other end and the music box will play it. Let's give it a try. I, I don't like this. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. We're gonna fucking die. Oh no! Oh! Diana, can you please not die so they don't have to make an android of you? Why do I get the feeling you're not making it out? The music box is playing. But. Yes, but this is... I thought something else would happen. I like the sound this makes. And this melody. It just makes me want to sing. No. Oh, of all times, you... La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Oh, sorry to interrupt, Diana, but the drawer on the music box is open. You're right. Who would have thought that my singing would open it? Ah, uh, yes, sure. What you said. Chill down my- <laughs> Is it just me or did it just get bloody cold in here? The drawer on the bottom opened after the music box started playing. There could be something inside. Let's take a look. Well, take a look, please. There's a note inside. Fill the room with water. I know! What? <laughs> no! Oh shit! What's going on? Did I do something I shouldn't have? No clue. But this is bad. At this rate, the whole room will be full of water. The door out is still locked. I don't want to drown. Me neither, but we still have some time. We have to stay calm and think.
I mean, it said submerge this, but that's not good. You're gonna fucking electrocute. Maybe go in here. The lid is closed now. If everything goes as planned, the room will fill with water. Oh, fuck! I think the water is all drained out now. Oh, wow, that was scary. You think it's okay to go out? They could have made that a lot more dramatic. Is it open? Everything is turned red. The backup power must be on. I'm glad it's not completely dark. Restart? The button is flashing. It was doing that before. Maybe it's because the room was filled with water. The door should open if we push this. That is what the note said. Okay, let's push it. Oh. What? 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 Oh. If I was the shower, I'd be shit. They could have made it so much more dramatic by going up and the glass slowly cracking. Man, I, I shit myself. Why is there a door here? I was right. This door isn't marked on the map. It won't open? Nope. It's locked up tight. It looks like you need to put a code in here. Anything come to mind? <sighs> All I can tell is that it's an eight-digit number. An eight-digit number? Good luck guessing that. Oh, fuck, no! No, don't cock block me again! Yeah, Sigma and Diana were like... Let's get out. Oh, eight digit... No! You can't VLR me, you bitch! Come on, Nuggets of Luck! Nuggets of Luck! Nuggets of Luck! I did what now? I'm sorry. Ah. Oh. I can't think of anything. <laughs> Wonder if there are any hints around here. Ah. Hints. Imagine if we got hints. that. Ah. 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 <laughs> A moment I thought I got it. <laughs> oh my god. 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 <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, wait, what? Remember, Kuma, it's like what Flower he said. Even if you fail, you can always reset what you... Wait, he got it right? Oh. Ah. So I'm stuck in this timeline. Ah. Okay, so what if I say I don't do that? What, what happens if I don't do it? No, I haven't seen all the executions yet. Sigma, what are you doing? The X store will never open again. Now, <gasps> all we can do here is just wait to die. Wait, Hello, Lindo. You don't mean you're planning to transport? What other choice do we have? We have one to wait for Akane. I'm sure the police or a rescue team will. We can't count on that. But why? Ugh. This is the tree form timeline. 
Listen to me, Sigma. Why did you just scroll up further? time for pointless arguing. We are escaping this horrible history. He has silver We're eyes. Going to where Phi exists. Those are quite rare. Sigma. I'm not the ultimate lucky student. Damn. Guess I'm not getting laid tonight. I selected the transfer point. All we have to do is pull this lever. Then we need to run to the input pods. Wait. I'm going to go even if you aren't. What? I'm starting it. You ready? Wait, so Sigma's gonna go by himself? Every time I, I see Jigsaw, I think Jigsaw. No, I will not transport with you. Yeah, but you, you, you'd you stay in this timeline. What are you doing? No! A simple no would have sufficed, you crazy bitch! Diana, what are you... This has to be Zero's trap. A trap? Don't you think so? Zero's the one who made us start this thing. If we transport now, we'll be doing exactly what Zero wants. Purple is an actual eye color. It's rarer than um, silver. What is the... Is it gonna blow up? I, I don't know what's going on. You're gonna blow us up, aren't you? Pretty sure we should get out of here. Let's go, Diana. You're gonna blow us all up, aren't you? Oh wow. I didn't see that one coming. It's got literal matter in that tank. It's a bomb and a half. Yeah. Seems it is. So they didn't get injected? You're not surprised? We didn't get injected with the drugs. No. I remembered the announcement from earlier. The decision has now been concluded. <sighs> oh. <sighs> the game's already over. So... It'll be fine. Akane will come back. I wonder. <laughs> I'm not so sure I believe that. Oh wow, they're just gonna die here. They're just gonna starve, aren't they? They've just got booze to work with. They're gonna starve to death. Dehydrate mostly. Does red chat mean YouTube and blue chat mean Twitch? Uh, very possible. Very possible. It might be. It might be. Game over. Well, that sucks. An hour of figuring out this escape room just to blow it up. I know, right? Like, what was the point? You could have blown it up without doing anything. Wait, so we're basically here. There's no going back from this point, is there? Door of Truth decision. What is it? S exclamation point? Here? Wait, what happened here? Click it. What happened there? What on earth? What's going on? Oh, it's a continuation after we transported! We're still here, right? In this timeline. Oh, we might as well be used to it. That makes sense. The other one was the other timeline. This one's this timeline. What in the world is going on? We went into the input pots. And now we came right back out of the same ones. It makes a copy, doesn't destroy the Not original. Not the export pots. You just duplicated yourself. Did the 
process fail? No, it just duplicated. No, wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about this for a minute. Come on, Sigma. Okay. It's a duplication machine. You can't transport matter like that. Yeah. You just recreate yeah. it. I get it now. You understand what happened? Remember what Zero said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. I remember one time with my grandma years ago. Hmm? The, the first time she sent me a fax, she said, the paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. <laughs> That's a good it's analogy. It's the same thing. Just like how the fax doesn't send the actual paper, we too. Our original bodies remain. And only the red data went to the transfer point? Mm. But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me? The one that stays. No, your consciousness if is our duplicated. our data did end up transferring correctly, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So, why are we still here? There's two sigmas now. Your consciousness remains. You simply wake Sorry. up. Sorry. I know how strange this sounds. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after thinking extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. Huh? But I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. So buy some booster packs. I can't believe Sigma can't figure it out. He's a smart boy. Your consciousness remains in your body. You're simply duplicating your atomic matter. You're creating another essence of yourself. And that essence of yourself, if it has all the same atoms, would probably have the same memories as you. So therefore, that person will think they simply transported, whereas you would simply wake up. There's two Sigmas now. It's, it's not so complicated, Sigma. Oh, wow. And now we're back here. Yeah, there's a buzz kill. Wow. Like, it's not that complicated of a concept, uh, but maybe I'm a little geeky. But, um, yeah, like, he's a smart boy. He should be able to figure it out. What's this? What? What's this? Well, this is locked. Yeah, it's locked. Everyone's going, damn it. It must be something good. What's this? Did we do this? Game over. Press. All oh, right. Press the button, get the vials, you basically die. I get it. When you played it was a... You must have done it... Hmm. You must have done it after doing something else. Because... Let's not spoil this, but let's be fair. It must be... Oh, shit! Door of Truth is all the way down. Oh, wow, that's probably one of the endings, isn't it? This is probably the true ending, isn't it? Don't press. D team. This could very well be the true ending, or this one. No, it's not. Because Phi dies in this timeline, she's already dead. But then, you've still got the transporter in this timeline, so you could still go back to the room, reactivate it, and then from this time, jump to even here. It's very possible, because you could... Because Alright, so this is the tree, right? So he was basically in a shitty time. Was this it? Yeah, a stranded pet. He was in this shitty time. 
And so he jumped up. But he ended up here. Oh, wow. We didn't even play this one. Yeah. So he basically ended up here where they're dead. So this is a game over. But it continues from here because he ended up here. But the, the transporter still exists here. So one of these, maybe this one or this one or this one, can actually teleport him. I don't know. Maybe here. And that gives us the true ending. That would make sense. We're probably closer to the true ending than we think. But we simply cannot open that door. That door's password is probably somewhere here. But Carlos did the exact same thing. He had the ability to escape and then he went back in. Maybe in another timeline there's another transporter. And then Carlos is going to go save them or something. It's very possible. I'm not going to draw this up on a whiteboard. But it's very possible. Is this? Oh, I didn't get to see all the executions. Yeah, this is my timeline where Q-Team gets executed. And we're keeping it that way. We're keeping it that way for now. Because that is the timeline that I have chosen. It's that whole, ah, shit, here we go again, meme blowing up recently. I know a bunch of memes from GTA San Andreas, but... <laughs> we should make that meme when we go to finish off Sans. Like, ah, shit, here we go again. You know what I mean? We've been there so many times, it's like, alright, we're going for another one. Oh my god, I, I love using my brain like this, even if I'm stuck on a whiteboard. So I, I like it. Oh, this game is so good. Ah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Did you do the Alistair Chow rooms without clicking the button? Did I? Did I though? Where's the... Oh, here it is. Press the button, don't press the button. There's Ooh. only two of them here. That's like, press the button, don't press the button. Oh, but I gotta do them in all the ones to not press the button. Alright, let's try it. My timeline includes Dead Kiddo. Let's, let's stay with my timeline until we hit like a wall and then we'll jump and do the things because I don't want to jump across multiple timelines unless I need to because it's not really fair. You know what I mean? If you ever reach a point where you really can't progress, it's the executions you need to do. I didn't do all the executions. See this one? Vote Q team. Vote C team. Vote Q team. See? That's how I did it. So if I went for this one, no one would die. I went for the one to kill a team. That was my decision. We get it. He get it. Everyone gets it. When he gets to a point he can't continue, because of it, he will do it. You could stop going back to this every stream. I want to... Like, the, my logic behind it is I made a decision here. I want to see where that decision takes me. Like, that's the thing. You know what I mean? I want to play the game in a certain way. Instead of going... It, it's like you're going back to level 1, completing everything. Going to level 2, completing everything. I want to see where it takes me. And this is one of the places it takes me. It takes me to a lock route. And then it takes me to another place. It's just the way I am. I know I jumped, but I jumped... Because this game makes you jump. You know what I mean? All executions, all possibilities. I thought you meant button. Well, I think in the button one, even if you choose not to press, like say if we do the let's not press the button on all of them, I don't think it's... Would it unlock something? Because technically I'm controlling all of them. 
All right. Not pressing. Let's let's try it. Let's do a thing where they all don't press the button. The point of the game is to take you along a long series of choices. Then seems takes like you the other teams didn't press it either. I, I am so glad. Uh, Mira. Have you yet to learn whether the button has been active? Well. See. So none of us presses it. It See, it doesn't really activate anything new. See, nothing new was unlocked. There is, there is stuff that will unlock, but at the moment, this is locked because you'd need to kill another team or you need to not kill a team in order to do it. So these are all timelines that happen or are possible or are related to the timeline where this team dies. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. Anyway, that's the way we're doing it. And then later when we execute the new timelines will open. So I don't see the issue because we've still got plenty of story to do and we can see where it takes us. That's about you did do all the excuses. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I did one of them. Only one. Only one. Only one execution. Sigma Fire Kana and everyone else who's in the time loop. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. You really should have done them all in episode two. A little late now. A little late now. A little late now. We might do them in another one, but in this one, we're, we're definitely here. We've time hopped. We've time hopped. We've time hopped. We've time hopped. Come on, many of the timelines that you have done are the ones where Q team wasn't executed. All right, I see where you guys are going. All right, fine, let's execute other teams. Vote Q team. Vote C team. Vote Q team. All right, let's see what happens if we vote for... Who are we supposed to vote for? So they voted for Q team. They voted for C team. We should technically be voting for D team. Oh, this is the one where they die. Oh, okay. Q team. Let's do the vote. And not vote for Q team. Fine. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. See, I'm nice. See, I'm nice. What exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you Let's mean do the it. Q team is planning to betray us? Let's do it. No, I doubt it. That's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gap. They'd only have to decide to vote for D team. Then you mean there's a chance that C team will betray us? Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D team, but actually vote for Q team. Why would they do that? To make us choose Q team. If you think it's a good idea I'm getting to get so out the votes. I'm getting so many mixed opinions. It's kind of true. I should really see where my decision took me. There, there's so much. There's so much. There's so much, there's so much exposition. Kuma doesn't need to do the executions now, but he should have, shouldn't avoid doing the executions now out of some misguided notion that he's following some timeline. I think there's so much discussioning in this that's going to be going on for months. We might as well just kill everyone and get it over and done with. You know what I mean? You should have have seen my notes on the game whilst I was playing. I look from a wall from a beautiful mind. It's not misguided. This is just the way he wanted to play. It's cool. If it doesn't make a difference, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what happens if we vote for C team. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let, let, let's fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Show me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Let's just do it. Let's do it. Your vote has been accepted. Why, Diana? Why did you vote for C Team? I I don't know. What? Huh? I don't know. I have no idea why I voted for C Team. What are you talking about? But it's true. Please believe me. Was I supposed to vote for Q Team? What? 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 I did the what now? 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. What? Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. I'm so confused now. I voted for Q team last time, didn't I? You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward. No, it was Carlos who betrayed them last time. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. Wait, what? <laughs> when you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams. I like how the message is exactly the same. It, it's kind of why I chose to do it now, because you guys will keep discussing this for weeks at a time, and I figured... It's more productive to discuss something else. So let's... Let's... Wrap up this chapter. By just killing everyone. You guys are dark. This is on you. We're killing everyone. You're killing everyone! How could you? Hey! Akane! Akane! Well, are they all wearing the collars that explode the shotguns, or...? Hey! What the hell is this? It's no use. It won't come off. And now for the voting results. Is it the same execution? The team who received two votes is you, C team. Well, As such, according to the rules, C team will be executed. Uh oh. Screw this! How could this happen? It's Diana. That bitch betrayed us. All is necessary for fate. Give it up. Damn it, damn it! There's no way I'm dying here! Please don't! Please! May you rest in peace. No! Yeah, so I think they're all explosive collars. Yeah, they're all explosive collars. So they'll all have the same type of execution. Execution D. Thanks for killing them! Q team votes for C team. Who did I vote for in this one? So they're all explosive collars. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. This scene is completely different off the knowing she's a the psycho. Alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Crap. They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good at all. You said it. She's a psycho. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Oh boy. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but. What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! See, that's why I do it like Eric. Like, what the fuck? So we should vote for C team, but then in this one we vote for D team. Why could the quantum computer in Villa La not predict all the outcomes? Did they not have the data? Kind of reminds me of the 3 a.m. gone sexual at Gummy Bear Chase Me. What? 
God, what a psycho. Why would you? If Carlos voted for D-Team like he said he would in the note? Maybe that was the result he was going for. He wanted to kill the three in D-Team. No. Wow. Everyone... It, and you said e it earlier. I don't like right, Eric. Mira? The note Gab brought? It could have been a trap from C-Team. Right. But that doesn't mean voting for D-Team can be justified. If it really was a trap, there still isn't a solid reason to go against what it says in the note. Because regardless, as long as Diana doesn't flip on us, we may be screwed anyway. Mira? There's no way we can justify it by saying we voted this way in self-defense. Oh, she's thinking of how to get out of it on like a legal thing. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well. As the next game will begin when you will I look at this so differently Thumbs knowing that she's away. a serial killer. The team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the field. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision I made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the film you entered. Pleasant dreams. What happens if one of them hits their head on the way down and ends up dying of brain damage or something? Game over, right? I mean, it's bound to happen at least once. In a few timelines. Did we? We didn't get to see the execution? In this one, we got to see the execution. We didn't get to see the execution in this one. So we voted for Q-Team in the Carlos one. Let's see where we voted here. Interesting. Interesting. Vote Q team. Interesting. Five minutes left. Interesting. Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit. I know. Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the Gab letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Yeah. So what? So vote for Q team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting Everyone lived in that, that one. They'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q-Team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D-Team, and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! I voted for Q-Team originally. All of them voted opposite of the no Puma. No one got two votes. LOL! So everyone betrayed everyone and lived. That would be awkward in a half. It's like, wait, what? Your 
vote has been accepted. Ah, oh, I was worried you weren't going to do it, Carlos. You'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will be dead when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the premium. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to repent the decision. Yeah, see? As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. So it's a generic message, they all keep their memories. And after the next escape room, they basically know who died. So if all members of a team are dead, essentially that means that they were either killed during a vote or they were killed in a room. So they could assume that they were responsible for it if they betrayed someone. And this is the one Diana? where... Oh, crap. Diana! Oh, wow. Fi! Where are we? I think it's the healing room. Healing room? Hey! Open this door! What? What is this color? No idea. Uh-oh. Zero must have put them on us. But let's take them off. We can't. There's no hole for a key. But there must be a way. And now for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you, D team. No! Damn it! Why? What's Q Team thinking? If they were going to choose us, then there was no point in sending Gab. That's true, but. There has to be a trick to this game. Something nonsensical. Illogical, maybe. You're trying hard. Was it you decided to kill all of them? In a way, they are the true culprit. Would you stop talking nonsense? Zero! You won't get away with this! I swear I'll. Sigma, let's jump. What? May you rest in peace. Look into activist formula. No! So Phi and Sigma basically jump to another timeline. And Diana ends up dying. Well, her consciousness ends up dying. So Kuma, look for the timeline where Fi is alive. The whole stream ends with one where she is alive only to be executed. No, but the whole thing of like, wait, we betrayed this team. How did they survive? It Just because you betrayed them doesn't mean there's two votes for that team. Because someone that was supposed to, I don't know, vote for that team could have voted the other way. So by two people betraying, the one that you plan to kill might not be the one that dies. Get it? Ah, uh, the timelines. So now we've got this cleared. So, they jump. The D-Team jumps from here. Their memories go somewhere. Well, their consciousness goes somewhere. They jump. They know they've been betrayed. So, the ones... The uh, D-Team that knows that they've been betrayed. The Fire and Sigma that know that they've been betrayed by Q-Team. Jump somewhere. They're somewhere. We don't know where, but I'm sure we'll link up with them at some point. They're the only ones that jump that I know of, though. Whew! 
applaud the actors over. Wow. I like how it's like, you are here. What about here? Here. Here. Kuma, you know where? Fi already mentioned jumping once before. Where was that timeline? Ah, uh, it was in one of the rooms. She talked about jumping, but she could have been referring to them jumping back in time because this is the fine sigma from the future. So that doesn't necessarily mean jumping from an execution. It could be jumping from the future. Ah, uh, anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, they can control where they can jump. Why can't they jump more often when they know when they will die? I think they need to die in order to jump or they need to be knocked out in order to jump i don't think they can just go like okay jump they gotta literally either die or be knocked out i think there's a certain system i think there's a certain system to the jump anyway we'll figure it out there's plenty there's plenty that we can learn about what's going we've got plenty plenty Oh, and they forget certain information so they remember. Yeah, true. So there's plenty more for us that we need to learn before we can figure out what's going on. I mean, Phi Sigma, Kana, and Junpei are the ones that can jump while the rest lose their consciousness. Don't forget Carlos also jumped in the timeline where he chooses to stay. So he also accesses the morphogenic field. I think also Q accesses it because... He remembers something. He remembers dying or something. He remembers being executed in a certain timeline. Like, it's more than just them that can jump. I think a lot of these people are jumpers. I'm kind of worried if Mira's a jumper because you don't want a serial killer jumper. And imagine Eric being a jumper. He would just screw up every timeline he's in. So I'm hoping he's not a jumper. But there's only one way for us to find out. There's only one way to find out. So we will do that next week. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making it awesome. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for getting me out of uh, that sticky situation, being stuck with all the uh, bird stuff. <laughs> did you do the do not shoot? Where is there a thing? I did one where there's no one. Uh, I did those. I did those choices. I did all the choices that were available to me. I believe it was it was the Q team one here. This is the one. I did it. Don't shoot. Shoot Mira. Shoot Eric. And this one is locked. But yeah, Carlos did jump. Carlos did jump. We saw it. We saw that little like beep, 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 beep. Hit him. So Carlos did jump. The fine Cinerator ending. Maybe Fi jump from that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. For Zero Time Dilemma. I'll also see you guys next week for Metal Gear Solid. Enjoy the videos that are going to come out during the week in Let's Play format. And enjoy the reactions on the reaction channel. Until then, thanks for making it another awesome stream. I'll see you guys then. Ninja Kuma out. And happy Orthodox Easter for those of you that are Orthodox. And if you're not Orthodox, well, just go to the supermarket and buy some cheap chocolate. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next week. Ninja Kuma out. Bye. Oh, this was amazing. This was amazing. This was amazing. I love this. Wow, no, no, no. This makes it more confusing. So we've got Clay, a K that's a clone of Sigma, but he was raised here. But Sigma was an Earth. And then we got another Sigma. Ah! So Sigma Zero, if that's the... Uh, uh. <laughs> I know less than I did 10 minutes ago!